there's a van in my driveway. What's up, man? Good to see you. You brought me some goodies? Yeah. Yes. Dude, these are some intense tires. Look at these things. This is what I need. I need a van. This is your parts getter? No, it's my work car. So. Oh, but it doubles as a parts getter sometimes? Sometimes. <laughs> this is what I need. Let's see what you brought for me. Yeah, I love goodies. This is what I got. So texture top, golf rear end, and front end, and then a set of nice, uh, clear, well, I'll pull in a second, but Vento E-codes, which is pretty cool. These are pretty hard to find. Anything Vento is just obnoxious to find, so this is cool. I appreciate it. Thank you. And we'll grab this. If anyone says they have parts for sale, you know I'm all about that. All right, got us a nice little matching texture chop set. Good shit looks like. Obviously, it's going to need paint like the rest of them do, but texture looks to be clean no gouges once you trim paint it like that it looks obviously brand new so these are nice and good score and over here we have a nice set look at this if i can do this carefully and not drop them bam oem vento e codes by hella which is nice so this is a good little score and they have the um the motors on there which most people in america won't use these because they don't have the hookup for it but still these are actually a really nice set pictures have been taken of all the new stuff here these things are super clean i really like the clear ecos a lot like my car and steve's car we both have the uh the smoke thousand ecos which look cool but also the uh the clear ones look really nice too all factory hella this is made in germany right there surprisingly enough it's actually a beautiful day out today i didn't even plan on making a video today we we're at the park a little while ago just kind of hanging out and then he hit me up and said hey i got parts so you want them and i can't say no to parts so this happened this video started so now i guess we're we're going with it i think i'm gonna steal the wheels off steve's car today and put these ones on my wagon because well why not these are 17 by 9 all around i want to say i don't know the exact offset but you can see how they fit on a mark 3 i don't know the mark 3 specs versus the mark 4 specs i think they're fairly similar but i think this will look good on my car especially since my car is lowered now i think the 17 by 9s will actually look pretty good and then in terms of getting wheels for my actual wagon i just haven't found a set that i really like yet and the sets that i do like are stupid expensive and it's just a daily for now so i'm trying to like just balance myself as best as possible plus there's this project going on and the miley stuff so my wagon will like to have wheels but just doesn't need them just yet i can't find a set that i like so for now, she'll have to just deal. Also, quick side note, aside from these that just came in today, I have Vento GLX tails for sale, Mark II taillights there, Mark IV ones back there. These are self-tinted uh, Vento taillights as well. Like someone spray tinted these. They're not, they're not bad though, but you can tell that it was spray tinted versus like factory tinted. But I have those Mark III grill up there. Couple steering wheels, OEM Mark IV, Audi, and then Alfa Romeo one. And then also over here, aside from this bumper, I have five, one, two, three, four, five, Mark III Golf slash Cabrio or GTI, uh, smooth top Euro bumpers, all good condition, two green, one black, one surf green, and one blue. So if you want a bumper, let me know. Now the R32 sounds good, right? But like, get ready for a 1.6 cold start. 1.6, 16 valves, don't forget that part. Wait, no. Woo! Actually, before I pull these ones off, here's your little current look. Honestly though, for being Steely's with hubcaps, I like this look. To me, it doesn't look bad. And we have those on this side and then obviously these ones on this side because finding 16 inch hubcaps is very difficult apparently but there she is got the good old stock boy here off i was gonna pull this 20 mil spacer off the rear micro because these are 17 by nines um they actually are these are actually made by a company called keskin they make a bunch of wheels right there keskin in germany and then 17 by nine these are also offset 30 but then when i saw this car and i pulled it off he has a spacer a 20 mil in the back of his car as well so I'm not sure because normally a 17 by 9 with the offset of with that and this would be offset of 10 should poke on the Mark III, but on this car it was kind of sunk in. So I'm not sure how much different the variance with the synchro in the back, um, how it varies, but it's obviously different than a normal Mark III. But we'll try this wheel with the uh, Space first and see how it fits. Ooh, I don't think that's going to work. It might. I have smaller spacers, maybe, but 
Yeah, that's probably gonna sit like right on the tire, but we'll try it first just to see. Yeah, so they definitely poke a quite a bit more than they do on the Mark III, because on the Mark III it was sunk into it. I mean, the whole thing was pretty much under the fender, whereas here it's a good ways out. I'm gonna drop it down and see how it actually fits on the ground. Oh, well, not bad. I mean, if I hit a bump, it's for sure gonna rub. Yeah, that's a bit farther than I would want them to be. I'm kind of surprised though on how much they were sunk on that car. And they poke quite a bit on this car. Now, I do have a 20 mil in the rear of this car. I could pull the 20 millimeter off and that would probably fix all this. So we'll go ahead and back up, pull the spacer off and then we should be uh, good to go. All right, this time spacer removed. Bring it back down. There we go. That is perfect. So I would say 17 by nine or even 18 by nine, whatever by nine. But ET30 is basically perfect fitment for a Mark IV. Unless the wagons are different than other ones. But on this car particularly, 17 by 9 ET30 is literally perfect. All right, front's going on now. He also had a 15 mil spacer like I did on the front of his car. But from what I learned from the back of this car, I'm just going to pull it off right away because I know it's going to be different. All right, she's down. And I'm not going to lie. In my head, this looked a lot better. Like on this car, they just fit so nice on this car. They look right at home, but on this car, I guess this is like, this is more of like a slim kind of square boxy style, or this is more like a, a round and just bigger body style in general. They just look too small. Actually, sorry, the wheel size is fine. 17 by 9, 80, 30 is like perfect fitment front and rear on a Mark IV. I would say like, that's really, really nice and spot on. That's fine. The tire size is too small. The 215, 40, it's just not doing it. there's too much too much gap and i don't want to go lower with the car because it's fine where it's at but like there's just too much gap here i think it looks they look too small so if i went with 17s i would do 17 by 9 plus 30 that's perfect but we need bigger tires so maybe a 215 45 even a 50 just to fill out that well a bit more because it looks it looks too small or just go to with 18s yeah they just look dinky i'm gonna put the center caps on real quick see if it helps out at all but i think the tires are just too small for this car all right, so the caps are on and that actually did help a bunch. It looks a lot better now. Tires are still too small, I think, but with center caps looks better. Now, the, the problem now is though, we now have a 1.6 with our badge on the wheel and that's just, <laughs> you can't be, you can't do that. You can't, you can't have our badge wheels on a once, you, you can't. I mean, at least on that car, it's an all wheel drive VR6 turbo, that's fine. But our badges on, it just, you can't. You can't do it. You cannot do it. Man, in my head, this went so differently. Like, in my head, this was going to look so good. Like, the design looks good, but it's just, they look so dinky and just puny on this car. Or, like, on this car, it looks so good on this car. And I thought for sure they look great on this car, but they just, it's too small. Like, it's kind of weird saying this, but, like, I prefer these on that car than those. It just, look, it just fills the gap better, and it's like, I like this big faced design i think with this car being such a big body i think a nice big face wheel will look on this car almost like my zobbers something like that on this car would look sick i think i'm gonna do 18s i like the 17 by 9 well 17 by 9 with a big tire or 18s with a, a medium tire will be perfect because i don't want the car to go any lower as is i mean right now the exhaust hits all the time already and the mud flaps hit all the time because the mud flaps are like an inch from the ground so i could remove those but i like them to keep the car the side of the car as clean as possible and in my head it went so differently but now we know now we know and the r badges <laughs> you can't ride around in a one six with the r badge you can't do it you just can't do it this thing has like no clearance back there one bump and it's just like tearing that right up but it is cool to see this car with like bigger wheels on it or like bigger tires on it this thing would be sick steve if you're listening once we rebuild the vr6 turbo when it's running again we lift your car get some big tires like this or even bigger than that we do like hella lights, the big ones in the front up here, light bar on top. We just rally this car through trails and snow and mud. And keep in mind, I mean, it'd be cool. I think it'd be pretty cool. Everyone goes the low route, but we could just lift it and it's off road it, and it could be pretty cool. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and undo uh, this because now the car looks stupid. So there's that. There she is, boys. Back to her former glory on the stock wheels. They just look right at home on that car. And these wheels just look right at home on this car look at that sun coming in right on oh right in the zobber look at that it's so fancy just posted up today's video and now about heading with some dinner get some mexican food and then we're heading off to an escape room this parking spot 
is a little bit tight, but a little daily is okay. Guys, is Focus RS. Benji's Burritos. I'm excited for food. It's like a Chipotle. It's like the owners wanted a nightclub and a burrito place and just made it into one because we are just bumping in here. <laughs> This is literally like Chipotle. I'm so excited. The question is, if, if this if this burrito tastes like from Chipotle, we're gonna be here all the time. Because the closest Chipotle is in Frankfurt. If I don't have to go to Frankfurt for a burrito, let's see. Is it? It's good. It's a little different than Chipotle, but it's approved. I approve. Well. The story is called 2218 Rescue yeah. the World. All right, this is different than any though. escape room I've ever done. Yeah. This isn't really an escape room. This is like, they just gave us, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> we just inherited a, uh, a cell phone and a dentist's office. Yeah, and our mission is to what, save the world? I the guess. World's ending? I guess we're saving the world. I'm fine with that. I don't, no, this is weird. This isn't like an escape room where you get put in and have to get out. We're trying to find it first and then figure out what. We're, we're breaking into the escape room. Hey, We have 135 left. We are so close. 90 seconds. 90 seconds. It's fine. It's all fine. It's just flashing red. Oh, hey, we're yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go. We're going, we're going somewhere. Where's the phone? What are we grabbing? You're welcome. What are we grabbing? It's uh, control devices. Okay. I thought we were done. We're not done. We're just beginning. Yes, we did it. Things I gotta do to get famous. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Holy crap, it is currently 3.03. Just getting home. Escape room was really cool. It was more of like a situation room than escape room. We had to like solve the first room and get to like time machine and go to a spaceship and like save the world. It was crazy, but super cool. They had like VR, like um, augmented reality kind of stuff in there. It was honestly like one of the coolest ones I've ever been to. Super, super cool. We made it out with 41 seconds to spare, but we did it. Uh, we went and saw John Wick 3 after that, and that was, it just, I don't, I don't know, I didn't. The fight scenes were cool, but like, I just don't like when people can't aim and no one die. Whatever, it was, it was okay, it was okay. But I'm gonna end the video here. I'm exhausted, I need to edit this video and just, I need some sleep. Don't forget, be thankful for us today. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.